Hey guys, it's Janai. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did these individual crochet faux locks using these free dress hipster locks. I'm going to be showing you what is so special about these locks in particular and how I use them to hide the knots. So if you guys are interested, just stay tuned. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that right now. So I started with blow dried hair and these are the hipster locks and you see that they're kind of wavy and then they have curly ends. They're 18 inches long and the point of these locks is to hide the knots at the roots because they have this loose piece of kinky hair at the top so that after you crochet it on you use that piece of hair to wrap around your hair and the lock the way you would if you were doing the wrap method of locks. So I started by using a little bit of this eco gel and I put my hair into little rubber bands and then I crocheted the lock like normal. If you guys don't know like the rubber band crochet lock method just watch. And then I take that loose piece of hair and wrap it around which hides my real hair and it should hide the rubber band too if you do it right. So I'll just show you guys this process a few more times so that you can get the idea of it. But I really think that this whole having this loose piece of hair at the top is a great idea. One, for me, because if you do the rubber band method like with plaits, the way that you have to like pull the plait through the lock. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. But I can't do that right now because my hair isn't long enough for me to put into plaits and do it like that. So the last time I did crochet locks, which I'll have a video on that included so that you guys can see the difference. There was really no way for me to hide my little ponytails because I really couldn't tuck them into the lock. So the fact that I can just wrap my hair in with like using this piece of hair, I think that that's a great idea. And I also think it's a great idea because when I would do... Well, sometimes like if you do the um, the method I was talking about where you pull the plait through the lock, sometimes you can still see the root of the braid at the base of the lock. If you know, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about, but sometimes you can still see that little piece of braid at the root of your hair. And this is perfect for that as well because it'll hide that. So overall, I think that this is a great idea. This is really game changing this literally is really changing the game because the reason that I ended up having to do the wrap method when I did my locks was for this reason but now that I can do individual crochet method but still you know have that same wrapping at the top this just saves so much time and it's this is just a great idea So this is how they look when they're done. They're super lightweight and you don't need to dip them, but you can if you want to straighten out the curly ends. I'll have the information on these locks in the description box and if you guys have any questions, just comment below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Kirsten. and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!